Ladies and gentlemen, on a very personal note, for the next two weeks, as Jupiter and Saturn finally move out of Capricorn and into Aquarius, it will feel like the universe is trying to destroy me, the solar system is crushing me, and that I have no, no hope and no future. But I'll try to deal with it as heroically as possible. All right. Our first bonafide snow weenie nor'easter is thumping, bumping, crushing, and hammering the upper northeast with snow. As I speak right now, although it's mixed precipitation, as some areas are getting some of the freezy stuff, and some areas are just getting wet. But it's beautiful to look at. Mother Nature, she's quite the artist who works every single day. Oh, the weather outside was frightful, but inside it is delightful. So yeah, this will go on through the whole day and into Sunday morning. So be prepared because there are going to be a lot of power outages and nobody wants to lose power at any time, but especially when it's all freezy, you know, I hope you're prepared. Whiskey. I recommend whiskey and a cuddle bunny if you are so lucky because it is cuddling season. We're in winter asterisk. It's like meteorological winter. I don't know if it's official winter. Official stuff. Who knows? Anyway, we're getting a good look at as New York is getting some rain, but Massachusetts is getting wicked crushed. E weather letting us know that it is absolutely thumping on I-84 in Connecticut. And so drive safe with your snow chains if that is where you're at. Robert LaRoche is showing us the satellite picture as you can see where the snow and rain are meeting up this is the hot side and this is the cold side look at mcdlt and you're getting variable precipitation and that will change and the banding that will happen throughout here should be pretty nasty in some areas we'll see over a foot of snow the wonder woman is letting us know that the monolith has not moved but it turns out it was just a mcdonald's order form and i gotta say right now Chicken nuggets sounds so good. If you ever try their sweet and sour sauce, it's delish. But yeah, this is quite a storm for Boston and surrounding areas. We're talking Manchester, Worcester. Shouldn't there be an H in there? Who knows, man? H's are pretty sketchy. Landon Molay letting us know the yellow ring on CC will be one to watch today for interest in the Boston area. The snow. As this ring sinks, shrinks, and dinks, the melting layer lowers, and so you're going to have a mixed precipitation bonanza. Not safe for walking weather is saying that this could drop some heavy-ass snowfall. We're talking up to some four inches per hour and thunder snow? Question mark. Bombogenesis is the buzzword as this storm's pressure continues to deepen with snow, rain, wind along the New England state line wait new england's not a state boy did i just sound dumb right there and if you thought fire season was over well you were wrong we have the bonfire happening in california orange county to be specific and the airport fire and so this has definitely been a brutal brutal fire season all 2020 for multiple states colorado had its biggest fire in history so I think a lot of us are going to be ready to put 2020 in the books. The white waffle snow falls mainly on the trees in the main. I tried to do a knockoff of the rain falls mainly in the plains in Spain, but I don't think it turned out so hot. Man, I hope you are having a ducking good Saturday. As it is cold, it's cold even in here in Texas. Well, it's cool. And these ducks are like, F that, B. We are headed back inside. Because it is way too cold for us. Aw, oh, cute little duckies. It is a beaut. Often, I hear meteorologists say, this is a textbook storm. And I'm like, do they even use textbooks anymore? You know, we're supposed to be in the digital, digital age or whatever. And it ain't all about the Northeast. We're talking about Florida, Sunday a.m. to Monday a.m. Juice Newton and the gang may be bringing storms to South Florida that will be invading your crocodiles. Um, they've had some big crocodiles there lately. Dinosaurs? Probably. Want to know why this tornado is special? 
because it's a Saudi Arabian desert tornado. It's pretty wild, huh? You know? There's wild weather all over the planeta. We can discuss this in depth more later, but the Hayabusa capsule that went to the moon, gathered some moon rocks, and then now is returning to Australia, it's apparently re-entered and landed. How come they never show footage of stuff taken off from the moon? We get to see moon landings, but what I really want to see is things that take off from the moon. I've seen no footage of like the early Apollo missions of the thing that takes off from the moon, and I saw no footage of Hayabuasa taking off from the moon. So I'm fascinated watching stuff take off from the moon. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, here comes asteroid material, but in a good way. That's what she said. What you're looking at here is an Italian ice. Yeah, I tried to make a gelato joke because we both know this is really snow. Yeah, but this is Italy. Low coming in to bust it. All right. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. From the very next day, yeah, you threw it away. So this Christmas, I'm saving it for somebody special. Along the coast of Oregon and far northern California, the first measurable precipitation of the month may arrive as early as Sunday afternoon when a disturbance in the atmosphere moves on shore from the Pacific Ocean. This may be the first time in Thor News history we've had a Mexican tornado and a Saudi Arabian tornado in the same time span. So, I just thought that was interesting, and I'm pointing it out. But as of an hour ago, buoy 44008, 62 miles southeast of Nantucket, reported 13-foot waves, 47-mile-per-hour wind gusts, and a minimum pressure falling rapidly to 994. And it is still falling and will continue to do so as it bombs out, baby. Hey, it is foggy in Montana, especially the valleys this morning. The blue and white and attached video visibility may vary. Visibility, whatever, you know, eat the crap. We got ourselves a bona fide petroleum fire here in South Texas. Technically, it's called Corpus Christi. Scott McIntosh pointing out that as solar activity increases, cosmic ray influx decreases. So, uh, you know, more protection is always better. Oh, core of the cyclone. That is what Stu Ostro is showing us here. The core of the cyclone. Yeah, it's multiple layers of the atmosphere coming together for a big party. And this is a later look at that weird European storm that was coming in from the east, which it rarely does, and then counterclockwising. You know, that's a weird storm for sure. We we're talking about near record rainfall amounts from this system that produced devastating mudslides in parts of coastal Alaska earlier this week are not expected in the Pacific Northwest, but you will be getting rounds of rain into Sunday as flood threat continues, heavy mountain snow, and another two to four inches of rain. Ay caramba. Or I guess Alaskan ay caramba. But yeah, the monolith is signifying thunder snow ahead. Always take any alien or troll communications with a grain of salt, because salt is delicious. That's one thing I've definitely learned in 2020, is that salt, mm, 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 baby, you are good. And you can never have too much salt, because it's good for you. <laughs> I made that up. That's not true. You can definitely have too much salt, man. You can get salt sickness. And then, if you die, they bury you in the salt and sea. There's another bad joke. Like I said, my sense of humor may be off for two more weeks. I do hope you bear with me. And so, yeah, dude, California, you better be on the lookout. You've got more Santa Ana wind and fire danger coming up next week. And so, we are dealing with early winter weather showing defiance to the La Nina, but the beast from the ocean will show its influence later in the month. Okie dokie, everybody got that? All right, I am your planetary defense commander, and due to all the Capricornian energy that will last for about two more weeks, and the people that have been really, really mad at me since the election for some reason. Um, I do a monthly fundraiser and an end of the year fundraiser, so we're in that zone. But the problem is, like now, you got to send in your contributions to keep Thor News up and running, or just to say thanks for a year long of awesomeness through the snail mail. But the USPS will seriously appreciate it. So if you would like to do that, I would really appreciate it. And technically, I super duper need it. 
I, I love my job and like to continue being your planetary defense commander. You can send in T. Lewison at 5430 Birdwood Road, number 416, Houston, Texas, 77096. But like I said at the very beginning, it's going to feel like uh, everything is hopeless and, you know, uh, I will be crushed and there will, until like about the 16th or the 19th. So who knows, man? Who knows? If you want to take a little off my mind, that would be great. But like I said, take care of yourself, your family, your friends first. If you got some left over, I definitely bust my ass. And I love you guys, and I would love to keep doing this. Okay, great. You know, end of the year planetary defense command bonus would be nice because I do my best to represent everyone. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Have a great super Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Kick ass Kwanzaa. And a great royal conjunction. And I will talk to you all in the near future. Peace out. Have a great day.